This is Mark from the Center for Online Learning and Innovation. You may have a situation where once a semester, once a year, you're going to run a survey in Qualtrics. And at that interval, you probably don't remember how to uh, get the survey out to your respondents, uh, deal with data that may have been left over from previous semesters or years and so on. So in this video I'm going to quickly run through how to turn a survey that you used last year around and send it out again this year. So I have the survey here, it's just the, it's just the demonstrator of course, there's only two questions. The first thing I'm going to do is see if there's data left over in the survey. So I go to data and analysis. And yeah, I've got some responses. Uh, if I haven't already exported this data from Qualtrics, I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to choose export data, download data table. Uh, I can use either numeric values coded into the question or just the choice text and really I'm just downloading it for archival purposes so I'm not too concerned about that so long as I have the data I could work with it or revisit it if I needed to later on I'll click download and that's going to come down as a CSV file which is openable and readable in Microsoft Excel okay so there that's there it's on my hard drive so now I can delete this old data I don't need it anymore uh, I, if I accidentally left it in and I recorded new data this semester or this year or later, it really wouldn't matter. It could, be, it could be removed from the results. But in this case, I'll get rid of it. Delete data. I'll say all responses. Qualtrics is going to ask me a few questions about that as a final warning. I'll say delete all responses. Next, I'm going to go over to distributions. Now, I'm assuming here that you're probably just using the anonymous link which means you're going to you're going to copy this link into an email or you're going to post it somewhere in some sort of web space in order to send it out. If you are using the the more admittedly more complex email system, then of course you'd need to have a contact list for your new set of recipients this year. Uh, you can visit Qualtrics tutorials on how to use contact lists to send out emails to to invite people through Qualtrics which enables you to track participation and do a few other things but the simplest way to send a Qualtrics survey is an anonymous link its only downside is that it doesn't track participation so it's not going to tell you who has taken the survey and who has not taken the survey it also won't tell you who's taken the survey multiple times but if you don't have a survey where people are really incentivized to do that that's probably not really a problem all I need to do then is just copy this link into an email or place it somewhere on the web where people can find it. I can direct people to, to go to take the survey. And then at that point, the survey is ready to go. In the unlikely event that the survey is, um, has been paused or is no longer active, and I'll just go ahead and deactivate or pause this survey here, I might have to click this button here, resume response collection to reactivate the survey. Uh, if I did use a survey expiration date or a survey availability window, that would be under survey options, survey expiration. So if I had it set so that the survey was open last semester or last year from this date to this date, I would have to go in and revise these dates. If I didn't have that, then it's not a problem. So that's basically what's uh, the, the, the bare minimum necessary steps in order to turn a survey around that you use once a year, once a semester, in order to use it again uh, in the near future. 